Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Nico. Egypt. And Natalie. And we just finished doing our evening chores. Ooh. Yeah, y'all. And we had to get to it. Um, so obviously it's nighttime already. Um, so once we get past this intro, it's going to fast forward or rewind rather. It's going <laughs> to rewind back to uh, the day we had today. Well, y'all, we hope everyone's having a great start to your week. We know we've been getting rain and sunshine, so hopefully yeah. those of you in the droughts have been getting even a little sprinkle. But let's get to it. Hey, everybody. Just hopping into this video really quick to let you know about an update we have. So Natalie and I have created a membership. We're late to the party, but we've done it. Uh, so with our membership that you can find on YouTube or Facebook, there's some pretty cool perks. As we continue to get more and more comments on videos, one of the perks is a guaranteed uh, reply or response. We've also uploaded some cool emojis and GIFs that you can drop in comments, especially on live chats. And another thing is Natalie and I don't really uh, share shorts, right? We share reels and things like that, but with the shorts, you'll be able to see what we're up to on any given day and be in the loop before videos even post around what's going on and uh, kind of be the first to know. We uh, will add more perks as we learn more about this platform, but just wanted to let you know if you're interested in that, we believe the pricing is fair. Um, so just give it a try. Back to the video. All right, y'all, I'm on the market for a new fence charger. And look at this at Rural King, $170 off. It's now $200. Now, I don't think you could beat that. 200 mile charger, 12 joules. This is, this is more than I'll ever need, but I would consider that a great deal. And as you can see, I already have some things that we need for that fence project we told y'all about in our previous video. Some more poly rope, some boots, and I'm gonna get in trouble for this one, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Got more chicks. I'm gonna take the blame. I'm gonna take yeah. The blame. You wanna be on, you okay being on camera, Grandma? Oh, I'm fine. Okay. Y'all, and I just picked up my grandma. Hi. From the airport. This is my dad's mother. And those are her boots. She's going to be out there. She's going to be a country gal while That's she's here. right. <laughs> but I just thought that was a great deal, y'all. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. I mean, when you're saving that kind of money, say it's, it's too hard to pass up. And we need one. All right, y'all. So something I wanted to show everyone really quick is how our trees are doing. So all of these trees that I'm about to show you, we planted last September. So it's almost been a year and there's been a lot of growth. Let me show you. Now, Egypt, this tree right here, this beautiful tree, do you know what it's called? Um, I've seen it a lot, but... I'm trying to remember the name. I can't remember the name. How about magnolia? So this is a magnolia tree, y'all. When we planted it, it was eight feet tall. And it is easily, easily. I know, that's so pretty. That's easily, what, about 15 feet? So y'all know we like everything symmetrical. So we have one on each side of the drive. But here's our favorite tree, right here. All right, so this is our favorite tree, or mine for sure. Egypt, do you like this tree? Yes, it gets really pretty. <laughs> and look at Tucker, y'all. 
just chilling, joining us on the tour, chilling by the magnolias. But this is called a bottle brush tree. And it is the weeping variety because it comes in bushes and just like, I guess you could say a standard tree, shrub, but such a beautiful it's tree. Quiet. And when we planted okay. this tree, it was not taller than me. And it didn't have this many uh, weeping stems, I guess you could say, or branches rather. Um, when it blooms, it's red all over. And there's a few blooms right now. And look how deep of a red that is, y'all. So, similar to the magnolias, once again, we love symmetry. So we have one right there and one Ooh. right over there. And look how big that one is, y'all. This one over here is weeping for real. So, Egypt, do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite tree? I gotta go with the magnolia. You like the magnolia? It is beautiful when it's blooming. Let's check out this other bottle brush. This is the other tree. And I have Egypt standing next to it for reference. Look how tall it is. And when we first got these trees, the two bottle brush, this one was wimpy and it wouldn't stand up straight. And now it has way more um, branches that have grown than the one over there, which was significantly bigger when we first got these trees. So look at how full this tree is, y'all. And just the height, it's grown so much. And let me show you something cool. This branch all the way down here, you see it right there? Look how big it is. So I don't need a branch that low and I don't want a branch that low. So I'm gonna go ahead and prune this one off and then I'm gonna see if I can propagate it or you know, I should be able to take that cutting and see if I could get it to take root and get another tree out of it because this is mama's favorite tree. It's my favorite tree. As you heard Egypt say, her favorite tree. My second favorite is, is the Well, one. you said your favorite is the magnolia. Yeah. Which this one's doing very well. Oh, look at that red stuff. Yeah. That one's almost done blooming. Yeah. This one's doing very well. So you can see we have lights. So at night, the tree is lit. I'm gonna put those back in the ground. Tucker still chilling. <laughs> Just on a different side. Now, on the outside of our gate, as you drive up to our property, we have 10 white crepe myrtles. Right, Egypt Rose? Yeah, that's my second favorite. And that's your second favorite. Now, as y'all know, everything on the property is white and black or black and white. So we felt it was very fitting to have these crepe myrtles. There's one, two, three, four, and down there are five. We thought it was very fitting to have these crepe myrtles um, be of the white variety. And I mean, these things have been loaded. The blooms come and go, but look at that, y'all. Look at that. And each and every single one of these trees it's just loaded. And when we planted these trees, they were my height. And now they're at least 10 feet tall. That one down there on the very end is probably closer to 12 feet. I know you can't see it, but it all looks good. Now right there, that wooden sign on the front is like a entrance to our farm. It says Brown Family Farm on there. It's a pretty cool sign. So everything matches everything is cohesive oh look at tucker now he has a new home <laughs> but i do have my gate opener so we installed this ghost controls gate opener and let's go ahead and take a look at these other crepe myrtles the five that are on this side of the drive another thing i would like to add y'all is once again, we planted all of these trees and all of the plants that are around the house that y'all saw mama working on. We planted all of these last September, like a week before Hurricane Ian. And we were so scared that we had planted these trees, did all that work and spent all that money. And we we're gonna just lose the trees. 
Um, that was my fault. I didn't look at the weather channel. I, I had no idea that hurricane was out there. That's a whole other story. Since then, I do have a weather app now. But when I put these in, each tree was braced. So you can see each tree is braced. And at, well, obviously it worked. They're still here, right? They're still here. So that's a sign that they survived Hurricane Ian and this bracing worked. But we have five on this side, y'all. So we have the one down here. And similar to the other side, they are all loaded. Out of all 10 trees, this is my shortest one. Still taller than me though, it has grown. And <laughs> this video could be like, where's Tucker? He's now next to the house trees. And this one is our second tallest one. So big. <laughs> wow, look at that sky, y'all. But so loaded down. Kind of looks, the sky looks pretty. So once again, we'll just walk on by these. There's number three, four. This is my favorite one. And this is how I want all of them to look. So this is what we're working on. See that wine glass? Perfect. Here's another one that has a good shape. And it's about to be blooming once again. So just wanted to give that update for all of our new new folk. Right, Egypt Rose? Yep. You find a puddle? Yeah, there's a bigger one down there. <laughs> and we added these rocks to our entrance. And there's one in front of the sign down there I was telling y'all about. I want to say these rocks are from either Missouri or Utah, if I remember correctly from the gentleman. And uh, Egypt. These boards that are up here at the entrance on each side, and then it goes down that way. Who put those up? Me and you. Me and you. Yeah, we did that project. That was a fun day. <laughs> Let's get this gate open. It does a great job of keeping Achilles in. Come on, Achilles. Well, y'all, it's dinner time. And WB is letting us know it's dinner time. You probably can't hear this, but you can see it. When he feels like we're late for his dinner, he hits the gate like that and it rattles it. <laughs> so funny. So let's go ahead and get to the chores. The babies are hungry. So we're going to feed. Um, we'll show you as much of the chores as we can before we lose sunlight. Right, Egypt? Yep. Let's get to it. Hey, Bo. And this is how they play. Y'all see that? Bo, you ready to eat? I got your food, buddy. I'm about to get it right now. WB, be nice. Man, that's a big boy. If you're new here, WB, our steer, Dandy, our youngest, a calf. She's the red Angus. The one right behind her is Tiny. We call her Tiny because she was so small when we got her. She's not small anymore. She was Dandy size. Yep, she was smaller than Dandy. And then that's our sweet girl, Coco Puff. Come on, Achilles. <laughs> Bo, show some patience. I like that's him saying dinner time. Look at that sky. You see that? Look at they that sunset. They had a rainbow over there. Oh, that's a beautiful picture right there. We got. They, they had a rainbow. The cows. Over there. We got Bo. Yeah, that's very pretty. Look at that boy. Now you can't tell me he does not look healthy. Woo! That's a big steer. Look at Coco, y'all. So our cows have only been on grass. We're only giving them this grain like once a week. Ooh, look at that udder. Girl, that udder is uttering. <laughs> okay, Coco, I see you, girl. All right.
All right, we're going to leave them to finish it. I see you, Dandy, with the white on the tip of your tail. You know you pretty, girl. <laughs> have a good night, y'all. And we have Bo over here finishing his food. Some of y'all mentioned, since I love to build things so much, and actually left some great recommendations on a feeder I could build for him. Um, so only he could get to it and not WB, but add it to the list of things to do. But he's, he's, he's a slow eater, y'all. <laughs> Ain't that right, baby? He I know really, you want some he love. He really needs one. I know, he wants some love. But look, this is, that's the spot right there. Right there, that's the spot. <laughs> and y'all can see, he has a good healthy diet. He's not overweight, look at his neck. Perfect size, you don't see any rolls. So he's all on grass. We barely give him food right now either because this grass is so alive. Look at them down there, y'all. They are ready. So they know, they know that after the cows who were, we can see them straight through. Achilles be nice. All right, those are Zeus's buddies. Zeus wants to get out. You're about to get out, buddy, but they know they're next, so they're gonna start heading down. But, whoo, that's a big boy right there, y'all. I'm telling y'all, at least 300 pounds. I would put peanut, uh, I would put Oreo at about 130, and peanut butter right there is easily 150 to 160. They are ready for breeding. Look at that face. Look at that face. That face says, I'm ready for breeding season. <laughs> That's exactly what language he's speaking right now. You go, peanut butter. We're almost there, buddy. All right, y'all, while the girls get the goat feed ready, you probably wouldn't believe me if I told you that we had to wait even later in the evening. It's like eight something right now to do chores because it was just pouring down raining. I mean, pouring down, y'all. And we're blessed. Um, I have family in Texas. I'm from San Antonio. I have family from Texas. My grandmother um, that's here in town is from Texas. Um, we have, of course, a lot of friends in Alabama, Oklahoma. They need the rain in a lot of parts of this country, so we are not complaining. But I just want to show y'all something. First of all, since I was already showing trees, tell me that the pink on that crepe myrtle ain't popping, y'all. And if we pan this way, you see that one in the corner. It has some blooms. They're coming back. It's popping as well. But I wanted to show y'all this ground. Remember, it was just thunderstorming for about an hour before we came outside. No puddles. No puddles. In fact, if I didn't tell you it was raining, and look at Egypt. She's marching them down. <laughs> She's marching them down for dinner. That's so funny. <laughs> if, I did, if I wouldn't have told you it was raining, you never would have thought, right? You might think it looks damp, but no puddles. Look at all these divots and craters from where the chickens love to, you know, uh, uh, you know take uh, sand baths and all that in the dirt. No puddles. Look out here in the grass. It was just thunderstorming. Watch, I'm running my hands through the grass. No water's coming up off of them. Look at that. So you may be asking yourself, Nico, where, where are you getting at? Get to the point. <laughs> so I will. We receive a lot of comments about Thor and putting a bed in his house. And a lot of the comments come from one of two places. The first one is people that may not fully, fully, fully understand that he is a working dog. He, he is a livestock guardian dog. He has a job. What am I trying to say? He is a loved member of our family and we're so glad to have him here, but he is not a pet. So he doesn't have a bed per se. The second thing is um, livestock guardian dogs typically, so a vast majority of the time, sleep amongst their flock, no matter what their flock is. In this case, it's goats. 
But if our goats sleep under a tree, nine times out of 10, Thor's gonna be under a tree with them. If they're hanging out on top of a hill, Thor's gonna be on top of the hill with them or in close proximity. If we had a mountain on our property and the goats decided to climb the mountain and sleep up there, they would. So the point I'm trying to make, and I think you get it, is livestock guardian dogs don't sleep on like things that you would think a pet would sleep on, like a cot or like, a, you know, like one of those big fluffy pillows or, you know, things like that, okay? But the other thing I was trying to point out and I've mentioned this in a lot of our videos, is that we have a sandy soil here in Florida. So part of being blessed with this sandy soil, um, Jesus, he's out. <laughs> and I'm about to check on Elvis and Priscilla, who hopefully you can see one of them's up there. That's Elvis. He's up on the roost, y'all. Swinging away. <laughs> Let me get closer. But a point I'm trying to make, y'all, is that with our sandy soil, the water just runs straight through. No standing water, no puddles. After a thunderstorm like it just was, you saw me run my fingers through the grass. The, the grass has the consistency of morning dew at most. And maybe not even that, because as you just saw, my fingers weren't getting wet after I took them off of that, took them through the grass. So... <laughs> So there's actually lights in here, y'all. You may be able to kind of see them in there. So this thing is illuminated at night. All right, y'all. So <laughs> got the boys their feed. You can see peanut butter and Mike. Mike, don't be mean. Oh, you didn't know mommy was right here. Oh, oh, caught yourself, huh? All right, let me out. There you go. Go ahead, Oreo. So I know that's recently, y'all. I'm not coming get you if I'm in there and I'm nearby. Mike, for some reason, it's seeming to be a little bit nicer to peanut butter and Oreo. But we know it's the pecking order, so we get it. But he actually scoots down when I walk away. I don't know why he thinks I put something special in that bucket, but I really didn't. It's the same stuff. <laughs> we won't tell him that. So yeah, y'all, as we prepare to put Zeus away for the night, the point the point i was trying to make once again is that thor is okay there's no water in his bed even after the hardest of thunderstorms so uh, we're about to get to that now now mama one of our questions as egypt rose let me show you what we got going on here she is getting his water bowl getting his food ready now mama help help me out with something we have a lot of new subscribers each day and I literally saw a comment today before we came outside and someone said, why is Zeus locked up and why is Thor locked up? And how can they guard the property if they're locked up at night? Um, what's the answer to that question? So Thor is a baby um, and we don't want him to be out because the past reason, if something were to get in there, he cannot defend himself. He's, he's only what, 11 weeks now? 11, um, yeah. So yeah, I think I responded to that one. Mm -hmm. But once he as he gets bigger, then we will let him out once we know that he can defend himself. Yeah. But it's not fair. Um, it's like me just leaving baby Pharaoh out in the wilderness. Not gonna do that to a puppy. Yeah. He's a baby. He's trying to figure it out. He's only been here, what two three weeks now. Yep. Um, and then for Zeus, our goal with him is to be like Achilles. Um, at night, Zeus is knocked out. He snores like an old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he is knocked out. Knocked out. Um, and yes, he does have that prey drive. He can hunt um, if need be, and he will alert us if something's happening. Um, but we would like for him to go and come as he pleases. He's just still in his puppy phase, y'all. So yeah. he will chew like, I mean, destroy. He just almost like chew through, well, not almost, he did chew through the wood on our table. Yep. Um, so once we know that certain behaviors, <laughs> he won't exhibit those, um, then we'll allow him to roam free yeah. and he can go and come as he pleases. This is for my ASMR lovers, if you love the sound of water and stuff like that. <laughs> when someone asks, does he try to put his foot in his bowl? Absolutely. The same way he does with the bigger buckets, he does it with his bowl too. 
Now, mom, what's the difference between Thor and Zeus? Zeus is a pet. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, well, I say that only because that's the Ze word that you use. Zeus is a pet. But Thor is a livestock guardian dog. Zeus and Achilles are not. Right. They are our, they're our pets. Yeah. yeah, so Achilles is a black Russian terrier. He does have it in his blood to protect, to guard, to secure. And he does. This he dog does is guard. used by the yeah. Russian military traditionally um, and has been known to kill wolves and bears. Yeah, okay. He, he does. He so does he, he is a protector, which is why we like him to be out here at night. He protects what we call the house yard. And believe me, if you come in this fence you're not supposed to be, he will get you. Yeah. Thor will do the same thing for the rest of our property once he's of age. Zeus will not. But Zeus is a pet, y'all. The, well, the difference is Zeus doesn't have that trait in him. So, like, he <laughs> he thinks everyone wants to play with him. Um, and the reason that I, I jokingly say, like, the pet thing, but if Zeus's biggest deterrent and Irish Wolfhound's biggest deterrent is their size. So they look big. It's kind of intimidating for some people or some animals. But if anything gets in the yard, Zeus wants to play and lick it. A human being comes in the yard, he's not, he, he, he's really friendly um, and he gets excited. He doesn't go into like, let me protect mode, whereas Achilles does. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. But yeah, our end goal for him is for him to be able to come and go as he pleases in the house, in the yard. Um, Thor will not. Thor is going to be in his pasture. Um, yeah. And he's going to have a great home. Like we do with all the animals. We yep. want them to have a beautiful home. But yeah, he's, he's a guardian. Once again, forgive us for the grainy footage. As we said two videos ago, we have to film so late at night, A, because of the heat, and B, today because it was thundering. But uh, mom, what would you say about Esther here? Tonight is her last night with us. So if you have not watched our video that we posted um, last Friday, we'll add it to the end of this video so you can understand why. Um, so go watch it before you comment. That way it helps me not have to respond to too many comments today <laughs> about that particular thing. Um, but yeah. Her last night on the farm, y'all. What you want, girl? You want some so, apples? All right, and here's Leroy, y'all. Just wanted to show you Leroy over here drinking. <laughs> He's such a big and handsome boy. Such a big and handsome boy. And that's Nana's pet. Yeah. That's Nana's pet, right, Mama? And y'all, his water was clear. <laughs> Let's talk about that. So we're going to have to empty out again in the morning. He's so funny. He loved when it rained and got all mud and dirty and hopped on mm -hmm. in there. And look at it. But we empty it out every day anyway and give yeah. them fresh water in their pool. So have Hopefully a good it's night, buddy. Raining again. Yeah, it is. Have a good night, buddy. We'll see you in the morning. Alrighty, y'all. We're trying to get Thor ready for bed, and he's doing all that he can to not go to bed. But Mama's about to pour him some fresh water and all of that before we put him up in there. Look at him, y'all. Isn't this the cutest boy? Look at that. You can tell he's been out here. Perfect example. Not afraid of the water. He was in the rain. Look at the ground. Doesn't even look at that, y'all. Look at that. No water as I'm touching it. Look at that. My hand's wet because I was rubbing on him. So, he's all right. Girl, get out of here. Mama don't got nothing for you. <laughs> so, Mama's doing his water. He's getting some last energy out with Egypt. But when it rains, y'all, he actually does go in the girl's uh, house. So yeah. that's why he's not soaked. When it was raining, it, it's the cutest thing. And I noticed it for the first time yesterday. He goes in there and he could stay 100% dry. Peaches. So he has access to the girl's Peaches. house. Peaches. Hey, Peach. <laughs> <laughs> 
But yeah, mom, I didn't even realize his address was reflective on his yeah. house. That's pretty cool. That is cool. All right, Thor, let's go to bed. Come on. Come on it's Thor. bedtime. Come on. Come on, buddy. We're trying to get him to go to bed or understand what that means. Um, even though it is worth noting he that I feel good. like that I feel like in a couple of weeks here, I'll be able to finish out the front and make his jump gate. And I'm not even going to get into that now. When I build it, you'll see what a jump gate is. And that's when he'll officially be able to come and go as he pleases. <laughs> oh, she got you. She's just teaching you a little lesson. That's all. She's, she's teaching you a little lesson about how much affection she wants or not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. Thor is in his house getting ready for bed he's had his fun today right boy i love that collar look how it illuminates in the dark <laughs> remember i said in the previous <laughs> video that our goats are bucket trained that's a perfect example yeah she didn't know what was in the bucket but food. she thought it was food so she came right on over and the other food. goats that are all the way over there they just ran over to the uh the okay. feeder we have another one right there that's like what you got yeah. <laughs> they think mama has food, but she doesn't. I'm feeling some mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling some mosquitoes. Let's go ahead and knock this out. <laughs> and look at them crowding around once they saw Egypt Rose with the bucket next. <laughs> they love Egypt. All right, y'all. So as you can see, mama's over here giving the goslings some fresh water in their pool. We just emptied it out, cleaned it out, so they're getting fresh water, and there they are, right next to her. There's one of them. You can see them. There they are. So here they are. They're doing good. You might be able to see right there that Egypt gave them some fresh grass so that they can eat. <laughs> but she's actually over there um, give, getting some more fresh grass for them, and she's putting it in that bucket for them, and that's their drinking water. I'm gonna go ahead and get that um, cleaned and full of fresh water once mama's done with this hose that she's using to <laughs> fill their pool up with. They're doing so good, y'all. One of them has a piece of grass that Egypt put in there in its mouth. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. You see it? <laughs> That's funny. So they do, oh yeah, you flapped that one wing. <laughs> Hopefully when the other one is healed, you'll be able to flap both. Yep, that's the goal. <laughs> so guys, one of you all suggested that we should put a mat for Tucker's claws. And we were like, hmm, whoever <laughs> came up with that is really smart. Because <laughs> we did not think about it, huh? We did not. We did not. And now so, look at him. No. I think he wants to say thank you because... This was a mat that we had under his litter box when he was in Idris' room, and we kept it. So it works out perfectly. And Tuck, you got a lot of comments, man, about how you did so well in the tub. You only, only tried to escape once, just once. All right, y'all, gonna go ahead and come in here and get these eggs, see what we got in here. They like to lie down below. But actually, Egypt, we haven't seen eggs down there in a while. I think they finally caught on that we want them lying in the boxes. So these are all from today, y'all. So this is three. One, two, three. Do you see any, Egypt? This is a real one. And that's a decoy. So four. And none in that one. And none in that one. So unless they do have some hidden somewhere it appears as if we got four eggs today good job good job not you big boy yeah <laughs> but and that's here they all eat. are and where's the little chick by its mama yeah. look at y'all this is so cute the little chick roost that night too y'all see it right there moving <laughs> it's up here kind of under its mom wing kind of not but it roosts at night now too it's getting big, Egypt. The chick's growing up on us. It gets all the way up here on the top one sometimes, but right now it's on that lower one with its mama. 
So before they get back in, they're cleaning off the tray right now, y'all. But I do the home decor. Crazy, right? <laughs> I built that door, that screen door to the pantry uh, myself. It's stained as the same color as um, everything. The porch, bed, swings, all of that. Anything that's stained on our property. Uh, built this pantry with Jared's. So yeah, <laughs> I was thinking about doing a home home tour one day, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do all that. We'll see. But they're back inside. As you can see, mommy cleaned out the bottom tray. So YouTube's about to get some paper towels. This is a bathroom. <laughs> but as you can see, we're cleaning their tray. About to give them fresh water. On the other side over here, is where the food is. Their food still looks good though. You can see that's in there. So we are going to clean this off now. We're going to let them out so we can just get a count, see them run around, make sure none of them are limping or none of them are hurt or none of them look lethargic. And uh, while we have all of that going, we'll just get some footage so you can see them running around and see how they're growing before we uh, put them back in the breeder. Like you always do Like you always do 